All right, it is now morning. I know I won't freeze. So I'm going to just start talking Welcome to some people. Welcome to the inn below the tarnished teapot. Hello. Let's see. Nothing really to talk to him about. Thank oh. you for your time. Poor guy, so depressed. I need to find someone to talk about these drummers to. I'm wondering if maybe it's going to have to be someone up at the library, maybe? I'm going to head that way. Sorry, just had to listen for a minute. I like it. Hi. Nope. <laughs> these brothers sitting here having their little talk. I'm never going to forget the look on his face when he ate that grape filled pastry. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's nothing really I could speak I with can them about. I still taste that grape filling. Repulsive. So cute. Maybe the sheriff might know something. I don't know. It's worth a shot. Hi there. Hi. Nope. Bye. I couldn't ever interact with any of these people, but I thought I would just check one more time before I head up. Seems to be like a big no. Okay, let's go upstairs and hope that somebody up here can help us. May even have to go all the way up, I don't know. The librarian is a good place to start. Good morning. Need something? Yes. I was wondering if you could tell me anything about the night drummers in Blushwood Forest. You know, it's so strange. Somebody came in just this morning and donated a book. She said to point people to it if anyone asked about night drumming, which made very little sense to me, considering this book appears to be unrelated to that. Not that I'm entirely sure what night drumming is. It was a little peculiar. Just about every sentence she said was a rhyme. Not sure if she meant to do that or if she was just doing it by accident. An interesting woman. I quite oh. liked her. And then here you are asking about that very topic. So, are you a night drummer? Am I saying that right? Is this a new thing people are doing? Oh, I'm always so behind the times. No, but it's something curious I saw. Sounds curious indeed. Anyway, the book is called The First Folk, and it's on Shelf C. Thank you. The lady that we met that speaks in riddles. Shelf C. She brought the book, I bet. The First Folk. Little is known about the First Folk of East Shade. Remnants show activity on the island dating back at least 600 years. The ruins of, of the Tiffmore Bluffs have yet to be closely studied, but it is believed that they were built centuries after initial inhabitation of the, of the island. During Lindau's settlement, several relics and carvings were uncovered, but lost shortly after the catastrophic mudslide. It was previously believed that the first families settled on Eastshade just 200 years ago. We still have much to learn about Eastshade's true first inhabitants. A note slips out from the pages. Fierce Traveler, Drumming Unraveler. A start we had when you stumbled in. We aren't used to this, me and my kin. A shock it must have been that night to see us running off in fright. I do hope that you weren't offended. That's not how I would like this ended. If you forgive our quick retreat, I think that you and I should meet. Find me before dawn at Mud, Wood Mud Willow's Mirror. I hope that I can make things clearer. Before dawn. Let's look at this. Uh, was it this one? Yeah. So I have to meet that person at Mud Willow's Mirror after midnight. Okay. Well, it is like nine o'clock in the morning. We have a while to wait, or we could go close and then camp. Which is might it just might be what I do. 
Um, I read that book, right? I did. There was no one to interact up with up here either, was there? Because I was thinking if there was, I could ask them about going to see the balloon. Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, I'm going to head back down. Maybe I'll stop by the market. Just down here. Oh, if I can go down these steps. It's been a while since I've done a commission, too. I should probably review my commission, shouldn't I? Let's see. Oh yes, the Cobb House. I haven't found that yet. A Starry Cavern. Haven't found that. A windmill? Haven't found that. And a natural arch? Haven't found that. Okay, well that answered that question. Can't do them yet. So the only other person I could buy from was him, her, and that was it. I could buy a newspaper. I haven't bought one of them lately. Second Chances has been updated. Okay. Let's see. Whoop. I want to read what I just picked up. It's good night to dream teas in Nava. Have you ever enjoyed a relaxing tea which carried you to another world? Ever appreciated a nap in the safe seas of the underground cistern? No more. A mysterious toxin has spread through the tea vines once grown there. Members of the roots have declined to speak with me, but rumors abound. Some suspect the plants contracted a disease from the influx of visitors to East Shade, while others surmise the plants were poisoned by a member of the Shez. We may never know the truth in this matter, but our hearts and minds will certainly feel the loss. Perhaps a small comfort for those who loved a relaxing cuppa. If the Shez are correct, the goddess of Tiam will surely smile upon us this year. Okay. What? So I have to go check on Kai to see if their business is still, um, yeah, struggling. Couldn't think of the word. So, I guess people can't have their tea anymore down there? It sounds kind of like that is what the case is, doesn't it? I think I'm going to go up this way. I always go the other way. I think I'll take a different route out of here today. Hello. Nope, can't talk to anybody yet. I don't know who I'm supposed to talk to about the balloon rides. I really don't. I, I assumed it was someone here in Nava, but I haven't found anybody to talk to about it, so I guess it's a big no. So what I want to do now is head back out here. I'm going to check on Kai. I'll do that first, and then I think I'll probably rest for a while. Or maybe do some fishing and then rest for a while until I can meet with this person. Ooh, Kaylin's not standing outside anymore. That's probably a good sign. I think I'll take my bike over here. Maybe we'll ride it back up the hill that way. Hi, right? Can't believe it! Business is booming already! We're truly grateful for all of your help. Here, take these glowstones. We made a big sale just for the morning eclipse. I couldn't possibly take them. We appreciate your consideration, but honestly, it's no trouble at all. We're in the middle of our reopening, and criminy, what a turnout! Oh. So, will you repay Finn? Of course, of course. Him and a few others. Couldn't have done this all without you. Oh, for great shade's sake, we, we gotta unpack some of what Caitlin already packed up. Oh. My poor wife. Can't believe what I put her through. I hope I can make up for it all. Of course, you're welcome to my wares anytime, at a discount. Thank you. I'll browse. 
Kai's Hydra Thistle. Kai's version of Hydra Thistle, which claims which he claims is black thistle free. I don't know what it does, but I'll buy it. Thank you. I'm so happy we've sorted all this out. I know we've done some questionable things, but we're turning a new leaf now. And I'm going to put together a kit of tinctures for Finn and tell him just what happened. We're going to be new people. Well, good. That makes me happy. So, um, mount. I want to go see. I don't know if there's an eclipse today or not. He said something about the eclipse, but I thought it was every other day. It might be every day. I'm stuck. It's about to start, it looks like. Okay, I need to get over here. I'm stuck again! Oh! I need to get over here so I can see if I can paint this thing while it's happening. And see if this is the correct spot for it. I really think it is, but I could be very wrong. Alright, let's get off and just pack this up so I don't forget about it. Hello, come on. Pack. Look. Alright, I need to get my thing out. I mean, look, it's gotta be. This has to be it. So, let's get ready here. I have to wait until the sky goes dark, I think. Unless I totally misunderstood her. Because this, this right here looks like an eye, doesn't it? Am I straight enough at this thing? I don't know. I hope so. Okay. Well, it's behind, so let's try it. It was it! Perfect! Oh, that's so cool looking. Yay! Well, now I can take this back to her. Um, let's get the bike out, I guess. She's not real far away, but I can ride my bike anyway. We've been all through here now. Should probably go this way, kind of closer to where her door was, so I don't have to fall down the hole. It wouldn't hurt to fall down the hole. I don't think it does any damage, but I can at least go in her door. I think I know where it is. Uh, I say that. I think it was over here. Yep, right here. That was lucky being over here when the eclipse was ready to start. Dad's pretty good timing there. Hello, I'm back with your painting. Ah, here is something unexpected. I thought my riddle went neglected. The glowing sun confines me to mud, but this, it puts life in my blood. It's yours, most valuable thing I own, a trade for the clever wit you've shown. This brew's the only one of its kind, and its powers need a solid mind. Drink slow, once a day, your eyes will grow clear. Just a sip, and treasures will glow when you're near. Oh. Sip up, see well, but exercise care. This sight drains your spirit, till none can you spare. I devote myself to studying eyes, and I've seen plenty brimming with lies. But perhaps you're different in the end. Best wishes to you, my clever friend. Huh. Did she take the picture? I think she did. The clever painter back again. Use the tincture well, my friend. Do you know anything about the night drummers? Ah, it was you they saw in the dead of night. That makes sense. 
All is right. You see more than others do. That's all I'll say. Away with you. Okay. Bye. Cool. I need to look at this potion thing she gave me. See if I can figure out what it is. Um. I still don't know what Kai's thing does. Mud Willow's tincture. One drop a day is all you need to find the items that you seek. Sip up, see well, but exercise care. This sight drains your spirit till none you can spare. I'm not sure what spirit it's talking about. Unless it means my inspiration. I don't know. I wonder if it'll help me find that amulet the poor man is missing down by the water. <laughs> I really don't know. It's probably worth a shot. Okay, what time is it? 1246. I want to stay here because I want to meet with these people. And said to me at her mirror, was this the mirror over here? I think it was. So, I want to read this again because I can't remember. Yes, I think it was the mirror. I don't think it's going to tell me again. So maybe I'll do a little fishing and then rest for a while until it's about after midnight. These fish over here are kind of cool looking. All right, let's see. They don't seem to be grabbing at it. Try again. I don't think that they like it. Will these little guys go after it? They did. Whoops, I think I went way past them. try this way a little. Oh, I didn't go far enough at all. Anybody want an egg? It doesn't look like it. Okay, nobody wants my egg. What about these fish over here? Would they? I can barely see them. Oh, it's hard to figure out where this is going to go. There we go. Let's try that. It still didn't go as far as I thought it would. Try again. Huh. It's hard to see them from this angle, really. Was this where I was supposed to fish for old pops? I can't see. There are some fish there, but I don't know if it's him or not. Let's go for that. They don't seem too interested. I don't know. Do you have anything else you can tell me about this fish? That old Pops, he's a coming for you. No ring traveler? Hop to it, I'm counting on you to set things right in the sea. I don't know. She said the sea. This isn't the sea, is it? This is a lake. I have no idea. Alright. It's two. So let's go back over here to the mirror. I'm going to rest for a while. And then as soon as I wake up, I have to take that brew to keep me from freezing to death. 
I wonder if I were to kind of select where it is here. Does it stay there? No, it doesn't. Darn it! Okay. Let's rest in our tent. If I can find it. I have a lot of stuff. Sleep. I went to sleep until just after midnight. So like right there. Then I have to hurry up and drink that brew. Okay, let's hurry and get this brew. Oh, I'm starting to get cold. There we go. Woo! <gasps> Look! Hi! You got my message. And you came. Oh, it's so good to finally meet a Skyfolk. I mean, other than Mudwillow. But I guess she's not really a Skyfolk since she does live underground. Maybe you've met her. I have. Anyway. Please, forgive all the sneaky sneaky. <laughs> I should introduce myself. I am Alejo. My people call ourselves Mahra. But I believe your people might better know us as the First Folk. I'm not from around here. Oh, but you are still Sky Folk, no? Well, I don't live underground. For as long as I can remember, I have been fascinated by the Sky Folk. The stories, the architecture, the language. I have dedicated quite a lot of time to learning your tongue, after all. I am grateful to Mudwillow for being such a willing teacher. And the variety. Is it true that there are bear folk? Certainly. Do they have temper like a bear? No. They're pretty nice. More lies my people tell themselves. I see. Ah, I have so many questions for you. I hope it's not too bad to ask, but is it true that your people are removing the eyes of the firstborn? What? Oh, that is not true. Aha! I knew it! I wonder what other lies my people are making up about the Skyfolk. And what is your trade? I'm a painter. Wow, that's very good. My sister is an artist too. She's an etcher, carves designs into the walls and such things. Well... I should probably leave here. Someone will notice I'm gone if I'm out for much longer. Ooh, tell me. Do you think you could make me a painting of the big city? Mudwillow told me about it, but I want to see it. That would be incredible. I don't have much to give you, though. We could meet here again, same time tomorrow night. Okay, I can do that. That would be incredible. Paint it from afar, yes? I want to see the skyline. To be honest, I like to be beneath the sky and stars. I think we all do. That's why every so often, some of us come up here to make music. Ah, to feel the rhythm of music under the stars. Most feel it's worth the risk of being heard. I think I'm going to make a habit of coming up here every night. I hope to see you soon. It was a pleasure speaking with you. You too. You're so cute. Okay. Well, let's go back to sleep since it's so late. And then we'll ride to the city tomorrow and make that painting. Okay, let's pack this up. How cool. I've met the little drummer people. I forget what he said they were called. Okay, the first people maybe? Let's get on the bike and head back to Nava and I'm going to take make a painting of the city and then what I want to do after that is take some of this tincture that the lady gave me and go back to the beach and see if maybe we can find the amulet that way. That could be the key to it. I'm really not sure. Here I come, little sheep. Watch out. I'm thinking painting the city from where I camped one day. Or one night, actually, will be where I should go. 
so it's gonna be right here beside this bridge. And my campfire's still here. Oh, I'm just gonna leave it out. I'll be getting right back on it. Look at that. Do you think this would be good? Let's do it from here. This is very pretty, so let's see. Uh-oh. Let's see if I can make a... Good. Okay. Let's adjust it out. Let's try this. Perfect. All right. So we'll take this to him after midnight tonight. But in the meantime, we're going to go back to the beach and I will wait to drink the tinc tincture till I get over there. Okay. Back this way. Let's take this tincture and see what happens. I'm kind of interested. This one. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't get it. I don't understand. <gasps> there it is! This is perfect! It worked! Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I see what it does. It makes my inspiration oh, go down. You found my amulet. I did. I thought I lost it for good. I thought you did too. It's lucky I'm here. I'll say. This is a key to my organization, the roots. <gasps> We're committed Yay! to the proper use of dream teas. The proper use being to use them. Wow, cool. We get our fair share of trouble from the Shez. They think tea should only be used for sacrifice. That's why we have to be so careful. I read about that on a wanted sign. Well, yeah. The Shez are always harassing us about it. They're upset because we use the holy tea instead of leaving it to get moldy like they do. They have plenty of their own tea to sacrifice, but they want to rescue ours specifically. You should hear the crazy plots they come up with to steal from us. Maybe don't mention any of this to them. You seem like an honest person, though. If you want to give it a try, come visit us. Our meeting place is kind of I know right away. where it is. Not everyone in Nava understands Dream Teas, you know? The door is on the outer wall of the city, facing toward the sea. Take the underground tunnel starting near the bread stand in Nava. There is a walkway that leads right to the entrance. Okay. These amulets are a ticket inside, but you just tell the person behind the door that the password is Dreamland, and I'll make sure you get in. Okay. I'll see you there sometime. Thank you. And thanks again for finding my amulet. You're welcome. Um, I'm worried about my inspiration. It keeps getting lower, so I'm going to drink some water to stop the effects. I'm afraid to see what happens if it <laughs> goes down to zero. So I'm going to drink some of this tea I have, the Lindoian brew here, to kind of help bring my inspiration back up a bit. I'll need to brew some more. Here we go. We've got one inspiration back. Good. Ooh, I was afraid I was going to pass out or something. Okay, well this is cool. Next time I go back to Nava, I'm going to use the key and go see the Roots place. But right now, I'm going to head back up here and go meet our little friend and give him this painting. <laughs> oh goodness, I'm getting stuck on everything. Okay, here we are. Okay, let's go ahead and get this tent up and rest.
All right, we've got to drink this tea real quick too. Uh, okay, here we go. Here he is. Hi. Hello again, my sky friend. I hope you're well. I myself was just having a nice think under the stars. I was dreaming about what it would be like to live up here. It must be nice to always have the sky above. I do like home. The halls are warm, and everyone I love is there. But the sky speaks to me. Have you had the chance to make a painting of the big city? I sure did. Ah, it is beautiful. Your people's buildings are incredible. I am sorry, I don't have any of your kind of money. My people use something we call Egra. I don't know how it's called in your tongue. I'm still learning your language from Mudwillow. It is rock where animal has died. It is living like a print in the rock. A fossil. Fossil. Yes, the fossil of a snail we use. What do your people use? Glowstones. Glowstones? We have lots of this. The rock of our home is rich with them. I can give you. You know, I would really like if you came to meet my people. You are a nice person. I think meeting you would help them see that outsiders are nothing to be scared of. Will you come with me to meet my people? I can show you my home and get you some glowstones. I'd love to. Uh, forgive me, but I'm going to have to ask to blindfold you. As much as I consider you a friend, my kin would not appreciate disclosing the way to our home. I will guide you. It's not far. Is that acceptable? That's not a problem. Watch your step. I can't. I'm blindfolded. This way. Okay. Not much further now. We have arrived. Please, wait here just one moment. What's happening? I went ahead and told most of the others that you're coming, so they won't get too startled. I've let them know you're completely friendly, but some of my people may still be alarmed. Please, pay no mind to any strange looks. Okay. This way, if you please. This is cool. Oh, wow. Glowstones in the walls. Oh. Hi. Oh, wow. How cool. This is so cool. Can I look well, around? This is our home. What do you think? It's amazing. Oh, that will make us all feel very proud when I tell the others. I am glad you like it. We have been expanding for many generations now. We believe, as your own scholars do, that we Mahra were indeed the first folk to settle here. Our legend has it that the great sea captain Ilanit and her crew landed here after being lost at sea for 1,000 days without food or water. Wow. <laughs> it's probably a bit exaggerated. But I do think Ilanit was a real person and truly fearless. She braved the ocean after all. I can think of nothing more terrifying than this. I also braved the ocean a bit. <gasps> no, really? The sky speaks to me, but the ocean? No, 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 no. We actually sank on the way in. Wow. Well, I'm glad you made it, so that we could find each other and become friends. Me too. Well, here is some glowstones. Oh, wow. I hope that's sufficient. I truly am glad to have met you. You have taught me so much. I was thinking, one day I may want to go from here, go into the world, just to see. Do you think the sky folk would welcome me? Absolutely. Oh, that would be incredible. 
but I'm not ready yet. One day. I think your visit here will go a long way with my people. Now that they've seen you, a perfectly friendly one, it will plant the seed of acceptance. I dream that one day the Mahra can be friendly with the Skyfolk. I feel both our cultures would be richer. Me too. Okay. I'll let you look around a bit. Then I'll take you back. Okay, thanks. I want to see this. What is this? It's the pot smoking or is it behind the pot? I'm not even sure. How cool. I wanted to look in here. Hi. Oh, they're so cute. What's this? Oh, look at them. They're all worried. Oh, cool. Wow, this place is really pretty. There's someone hiding there. Peek! <laughs> that was cute. How pretty. Wow. This place is pretty good sized, isn't it? Oh, look. Hi. Hello. Is this... Nope, can't get in it. I thought maybe it was a hot spring, but it doesn't seem to be. There's a drum. This is really cool. Look. Hi! So these are closed, right? Yes, they are. Just wanted to check. Okay, well, I'm going to go meet back up with my little friend here and leave. Don't want to overstay my welcome. Are you ready? I am. Farewell, my friend. Wow. That was really cool. I'm gonna pack this up so I don't forget it. It's a beautiful morning. What time is it? 7.38 in the morning. So very pretty. Alright, well now I'm going to head back to Nava and we're gonna go find this Roots place. So back on the bike we go. And back to Nava. I have a Patreon page. If you like my videos and want to help support my work, consider becoming one of my patrons on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.